lots of garlic this morning. Pink garlic, it turned out to be, pink and white. And uh, we've talking about peas. We've pulled the garlic, we've plaited the garlic, we've peeled the garlic, this time by hand. Of course, you could do it in your Thermomix if you wanted to, or in a bowl with a plate on top and just shake it until the skins come loose. That works when your skins are dry. This is very, very fresh. Yeah, there's so a joy easy. in doing it this way as well. Just pulling it off, yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to make some pickled garlic and um, Jenny is going to talk about all the benefits of all of this stuff. So yeah. I'm just going to do this, so you go ahead. So first of all, um, this is grown organically. So not only have we got the benefits of not having anything else than the garlic used, but we've also got the benefits of the soil. And of course we're getting, look, we've got soil on our hands here. It's actually really important that we do get a little bit dirty, that we get dirty in terms of gardening, but also in terms of consuming. We are going to be eating this garlic of course it's going to be fermented by the time that we consume it and that's going to have probiotic benefits and probiotics of course we know contribute to the rich diverse range of bacteria that we have in our gut which again so many benefits to that including that gut to brain link that we talk about a lot in terms of mood improvements to digestion but also loads of other health benefits and garlic itself really good for reducing LDL cholesterol what we call the bad cholesterol yeah, right. which is you know actually quite yep. a pertinent issue if we can do it naturally yes. rather than through statins and other things um, but also in terms of managing blood pressure um, it's antimicrobial antibacterial so again in terms of um, managing your immune system and helping to uh, optimize your immune system garlic's a really important element of that so I'm really looking forward to enjoying this um, what are we going to be doing next to pickle it so now what we're doing is the simplest old-fashioned way of pickling which is naturally taking advantage of any bacteria that's on the surface of the garlic. I've got a teaspoon of salt. This is a jar that's about 350 mils, so it's not very big, a third of a liter. So if I was doing a liter jar, I'd be putting in three level teaspoons of fine sea salt. And actually I've got pink salt today. To go with the pink garlic. Yes. Another pea. <laughs> <laughs> and Jenny, would you like some oregano oh, yeah, that in your idea. pickled garlic? If you wanted it to stay pinky white, mm -hmm. don't put any green stuff in it. Okay. But if you want it to have some nice bits of color, this oregano that I just picked from the garden. Fresh oregano. Wow. Is, smell that. Oh my golly, it's so <laughs> unusual to get fresh. I mean, it's difficult to get it in the supermarkets, isn't it? So, yeah. And you've got some dried? And I've got some dried oregano. Um, and uh, that's, I'm just gonna put some on my hand so you can see. Not too much. Yeah. It's a completely different fragrance. Wow, yeah. When you dry it. It's wow, quite that's different, incredible. isn't it? Yeah, so that's, that smells that's more like pizza. Of, uh, the oregano of my childhood, yeah. Yes, and this is more uh, a vibrant kind of, you can almost smell the essential oils in it. Yeah. So all we're going to do now is just cover this with water. And you so have to that, make sure the water's over the top, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so that the garlic, oops, there's one that wants to float. There we are. So you want to leave a bit of room. Ideally, you would only want the water to come up to this level, the shoulder of the jar, because that gives enough room for the bubbles, the fermentation produces, to come up to the top. We've got a little bit of extra garlic, more than we thought. Oh, mm -hmm. no, I think I could probably pour a little bit of this out. Since we're on a table with a gap, I can just do that. <laughs> so that there's room for those bubbles as it ferments. That's it. So we've got a mixture of fresh oregano and um, the dried. dried. Yeah. There's a bit of our dried. And you can see, actually, my hands that are peeling the garlic are going to add some extra wonderful probiotics yeah. to that. And talk about the probiotics, Jenny. Yeah, so I mean, we've got probiotics everywhere. It's all, you know, it's on our skin, it's all over us. But by using our hands to prepare this, we're going to be adding to those microbial benefits. And as it ferments, that's the process by which we know we're going to get even greater diverse range of, of microbes. Are these the post-fermented ones? Yes. So how long have these been fermenting for? Well, I, I had never used fermented garlic before so mm -hmm. I, I did this in my leader jar mm -hmm. and um, and I sort of left it you leave it on the counter in at room temperature for three days and then you just crack the little bit to let any bubbles out mm -hmm. make sure that your garlic are underneath the surface and then you because um, they will start to float because they actually get little bubbles inside them so just sort of shake them once a day so that they're still underneath the surface of the water yeah. 
and or at least covered by it every once in a while. That's great. And then I put this in the and then you put it in the fridge. And I put this in the fridge and forgot about it for three or four weeks. And I couldn't figure out what to do with it. And then I thought, oh well I'm gonna try using it to make everything that I would normally use garlic with. So pesto, salad dressing, mm -hmm. marinades, curry. Oh, soup. I haven't tried it in yeah. curry yet. Soup, I've tried it in. It's mm -hmm. delicious. And what's really interesting is I want you to smell this yeah. because it's completely different fragrance. Oh, my golly. It's so garlicky. But it's a really soft flavor. Oh, it's and beautiful. And when you eat it, I'll get one out just to show you. Show, show everybody else. You can see that the green of the garden oregano has actually turned that clove of garlic green ish doesn't hurt it at all and the reason I did this was because I had 12 heads of garlic that all started sprouting at the same time in April so this jar has been lasting me quite a long time That's a long time because it's no. two months later we're end of June now and this oh my gosh the fragrance is just amazing it's incredible, isn't it? and it makes everything taste wonderful but when you have it in a dip or a pesto or um, something that you're having fresh like a salad fresh, dressing or cooked. a marinade yeah it doesn't give you that raw garlic mm. flavor and you're getting the greatest probiotic benefits as soon as you yeah. cook it you won't be getting those probiotic benefits so actually using it in a raw pesto yeah yeah it's a wonderful way or adding it to a hummus mm. when you're blending it's unbelievably oh delicious gosh. and your salad dressings will never be the same and my lovely darling husband kept saying to me for about two weeks he said the flavors in your cooking have elevated have you done something different? Just and all I done garlic. <laughs> was this uh, this secret of fermented garlic. I highly recommend it. And that is Cook with Janie. And Lunchbox Doctor learning <laughs> all about <laughs> the five P's yes. of garlic. Picking yes. and pickling. And pulling and plating. And probioticing. And <laughs>